So I have an email design in front of me. I'm going to take it and using Klaviyo, I'm going to send it to my email list with the links that are fully clickable. So the end result is going to look like this and it's gonna open any product page I want. So let's get right into it. So the first step is going to be clicking on the slice tool right there so we can import the more complex sections of the design. And so right here, I created a slice that we will be able to import as an image inside of Klaviyo. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest of this email and for every section that has like custom fonts, custom design. The text, I'm not going to import it as an image because it's easier to create inside of Klaviyo. And I want to show you how you can create like text and resize all of that inside of Klaviyo too. So right here, third slice, and then I'm just going to keep on doing the, the same thing over and over and over again until we reach the end of the email. So you can either click on the slice tool and create your slice, or you can duplicate um, slices that you've already created using the keyboard shortcuts. So right there. And me, typically I use the keyboard shortcuts. So right here. Also, the reason I make shorter slices instead of larger ones is because if you make smaller slices, your email will load faster, more of your subscriber will end up consuming the email and you'll get more buyers, right? So this is always a good idea, creating smaller slices. Now that I've done all of my slices for the entire email, I'm going to pick all of them and then export them as a PNG file. You can also change the font format, right? But me, I'm gonna pick PNG. So now all of the slides have been downloaded. I'm going to go to compressor.io. So the image and every single piece of our email loads even faster. So I'm going to go to my files now and unzip the file that I've just downloaded from Figma and then drag all of my slices. Just going to wait a second until everything is ready and then I'm going to download everything. Download all. And then once that's done, you can go to Klaviyo to actually create the campaign. So now we're on the homepage, go to campaigns and then create. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have any impact. Click on email if it's not selected and then click on continue. Here you select the list that you want your campaigns to be sent to. If you want to know what the best lists are, what the best segments are, download my email guide in the description. For me, this is a demo account. There are no profile in there. I'm going to click on the preview list and then click on next and then let it load. So here you just select your subject line and then I'm going to pick a demo, demo subject line. Preview text, just gonna put a dot there. Again, fill in your details just so it makes sense for your brand. Then I'm going to create a blank email and now all of the slices that I've downloaded from compressor.io earlier, I'm going to drag and drop them here. So. I'm going to select all of them and then drop them. Now I just need to reorganize the email because again, it messed up the order. So I think it was like this and then like this. Here you go. And then this was a bit higher right there. So that's the proper order. Now I'm going to delete all of the sections that don't make sense. Now we imported all of the images and reorganized them. We just need the text that we're missing. So I'm going to go back to the email and copy the text and drag a text section inside of Clavio. Now I'm going to paste the text for now and we're going to edit the settings um, actually right now. So let's do it. I'm gonna go back, pick styles. And then the first thing I'm going to do is change the background color. So. I'm going to select the image or like the email rather inside of Figma and then the fill color, I'm going to copy it from here and then apply the same inside of Klaviyo. So the, tech, the text background melts with the rest of the uh, other backgrounds inside this email. And as you can see, it looks pretty clean. So now I'm going to center align the text right here and then increase the font size. So right now it's 14, I think 17 looks great. And now let's pick the text and increase the padding to like say 95. I think that's, that looks good. And then all the, the other pieces of text is literally the same thing. So I'm not gonna bother like showing that to you. You can just copy and paste the text in your Figma um, file and then just 
you know, replacing it here. And it's just a, the same as what we've done earlier. And now we need to add the links. So this is the link to the product page I want to push inside of the email. And so I'm going to go here and just add the link. So I'm gonna do that for pretty much every single image slice. So when people click on it, they're going to go to the product page I want uh, them to go to. Now, of course, if you need to send traffic to a different product page, a different blog article, a different landing page, then obviously mm, put the link that you want there. But yeah, select or ordering model. Again, this is the link to the product page. So I'm gonna put the link to the product page here. So that is it. Now we need to add alt text. This is just so Gmail, Outlook, other inbox provider can read the actual email content because right now we have a bunch of images and they aren't able to see what these images are. So we need to explain it to them so they don't consider us um, as harmful sender, spam sender, whatever. We just need to explain whatever we're sending. So typically I just explain whatever the copy says and it just works smarter and made for you. You can also go to Figma and then copy whatever this says and then add it here. All right, this is good. Then I'm gonna copy this. And here you go, right here. And you do that for literally every image slices that you've imported. So this slice, I'm gonna put some copy. Okay, so now we are done with everything. I'm just going to send myself a test email to make sure all of the links are working and that the email loads properly on desktop and mobile before we go live and send it to our list. So again, you click here, preview and test, send test, input your email address and send yourself a test email. Okay, so we're in my inbox. I'm going to open the email I sent myself and just verify that all of the links are going to the exact page I want them to redirect to. So this one goes to the product page, just like I wanted. Same thing for all of the other two buttons inside of the email. Okay, so now that the campaign looks good, we need to actually schedule it. So I'm gonna click on next, and then next once again. And right now I can either schedule it for later or send it now. I'm gonna show you how you can schedule it. Sending it now is just two clicks. So I'm gonna pick the date first. Let's say I want to send it on February 8th. This is the date I'm going to pick. I'm gonna go for 4 p.m. And then here you can select the time zone that you want, the 4 p.m. that you selected here to be in. And so I'm gonna go for US Eastern. Now you can click on here to schedule the campaign and right here, you're done. All right, that's how you send your design email to your list. Now, if you want to learn what email I sent to get a brand from zero to $88,000 per month from email, watch the video that's showing up on the screen right now.